I had a bunch of old rackles lying around. I was going to use them for another project, but in the end I didn't. So I decided to make this video into a record painting video. So I decided to start off with spraying my records using a primer base coat. I did several coats of this to make sure that the paint would stay secure on the record because the natural surface is quite slippy and wouldn't really take well to acrylic paints. I then went over and I sketched out my design. Before I sketched out my design, I did a little doodle and I planned out what I wanted. I used an erasable coloured pencil in pink so it wouldn't show up once I painted over it. Plus I could also rub out the lines if I wanted to. I decided to go for a pink and gold colour scheme for this piece. I decided to go with these colours because I thought that the gold would look really nice um, on the record. So I started out with the gold and I painted, out, painted the circle in the middle gold. I then decided that I wanted the flowers to be a mixture of pinks, dark purples and little bits of hits of gold in it. I think this worked really well as it just made it all connect together and worked really well. Recently I have been using a lot of pinks and golds in my work. I used to use more um, purple colours with a bit of teal and turquoise. However, recently I have really just decided to like start using these colours and I do think they work really well together. And I have actually used them as a theme for my channel as well. I used a different mixture of acrylic paints. I don't use one particular brand. However, if you do have a particular brand you would recommend that has some great colours, please leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look and try them out. As I have various different types of acrylic paint, I did find that the variation in the colour and like the strength and the, how like watered down the paint was did really vary. Some paint was really nice and thick and some other bits of paint really weren't, it was quite watery. I found that the gold in particular was quite watery um, and I had to do loads and loads of layers to actually get it to, to stand out as much as it does as you can see in the video. However, I do think it has a really nice effect once you manage to layer it on top if you have the patience to do so. I really don't think this video does justice of how nice the gold actually is. I'm really sorry about not making any videos recently. I seem to be apologising every time I make a video. However, I have been really busy doing my final major project, but I have been filming myself uh, creating my final major project. So hopefully there'll be a little bit of a mini vlog on what I've been up to and what I've been doing. Painting on the record was really fun. I really enjoyed doing it, the whole technique and experimenting with it. Before I created this piece I'm creating the video, I did do a small little tester on a broken record that was snapped in half. However, uh, I definitely love how this has turned out and my practice record was not anywhere near as good as this, but I was just experimenting with the original. I would recommend uh, experimenting with different primers and different varnishes and gloss. At the end of this video, I did go over it with a varnish but some might not take to the surface of the primer very well or the surface of like the acrylic paints you've used. I definitely recommend sticking with acrylic paints and not trying out anything too different to that. Though I'd say spray paint would definitely work and if you did use spray paint you probably don't even need to bother priming it because it would just stick directly to the surface. But that wasn't what I wanted to go for. I wanted to make a nice little delicate kind of painting out of the records. As you can see, you do have to do quite a few layers of paint to actually get the paint to properly stick and be nice and vibrant and as you'd like it. This isn't too much of a problem as I kind of expected it because I am working on such a weird material. But you can actually see the bumps in the paint, which I really like the texture that you get. Unfortunately, you can't see this in the video, but I think it looks really nice and effective in real life.
I definitely want to do a whole series of these. I definitely want to make more of them. I don't think I'll probably film them as I'm not really sure how much content and how interesting it would be for me to keep painting on records. But I might try out different surfaces. I've always wanted to try painting on wood, so I might do some wood paint painting on wood. But uh, if you have anything you would like to recommend me try out, please leave in the comments below and I'll have a go at it. I know I'm only a small channel and probably not that many people are even going to see this but I am so grateful for all the subscribers and the comments I've had recently. For some reason I seem to be getting a lot more recently. Um, my last video seems to have gone up by views very quickly in the last few weeks for no reason whatsoever as I haven't even actually put it on Twitter or Facebook in, in a month or so. So thank you so much if you've newly subscribed to me. Thank you so much for the support. Also, if there's any other kind of videos you want me to do, please let me know and I'll be happy to think about doing it. I finished off my record using a gloss paint coat so I made it nice and shiny and I protect it against any bits of dirt or any damages. I hope you, this video inspired you to try something new and if you have any suggestions on what I can paint next please leave them in the comment below and I will think about them and take them into consideration. Thank you again, please subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you next time.